what is going on guys i'm sure you are doing well and i will pray for your good health so that you can learn things easily on this channel called bitfumes with me sarthak and have you ever wondered if you have lots of collections and you just want to collect these things as a grouped by admin is true or admin is false so let's talk about the group by method given in eloquent collection which is very useful and very dynamic you can do lots of things with this so yes i have again all the data of the users and now what i will do i will say group by and it is very easy we just want to group by is admin so let's just see the result and you can see the first is grouped by having the is admin value to zero then after that all these data inside that is admin zero but here comes one which says that is admin is now having value of one so everywhere inside that is admin is one so this is very simple thing and you can just perform these things but the more power group by is giving you when you have a callback so here if you go to the definition you can see we will give the group by but in the group by we can provide the callback method also so let's provide a callback method and i will say function here and here i will get the item and i will get the key then just have to say here return a sub str of item and in that item i'm searching for email so what i am going to do i'm going to group email by dot org dot net or dot com so how we will perform this so we are going to return that particular string for that particular field so in this field i just want to search for uh, minus four because it include dot also and then we have to group by that so it is very easy so if i refresh you can see the first it has dot com collection so it has all these uh, users which has the uh, email with the dot com then we have dot org and then we have dot net dot net so it is very handy and very very powerful group by system and after that you can see in that case it's not having any original uh, key so if you again go to the definition it says preserve key is default to false we can simply provide the second uh, parameter which is saying the uh, preserve key is now true so what this will give the result so as we can here have that every item has its original key so this particular item fifth item has the key of four if you're not get convinced let's just return this and fifth id of five having key fourth refresh so this one this is zero one two three and this is the fourth one so this is very very useful and very uh, handy in the case of grouping by system so not only that if you go to the collections documentation here they have given another great great uh, example which is this one so let's just copy this one and here i will just going to paste it so yes we have a collection where firstly it has key which is different it's not any ordered key and then we have a simple array inside that key value pair but at the last the value is itself is a array so it's a two dimension array now we are going to group by two dimension way so let's just return and returning the data but i want to group by let's group by a skill okay so let's say a skill so let's see the result refresh and it says not a collection uh, collection not found okay i think i need to say collect and maybe this will going to work 
yeah so this time it has two group one and two because the skill has two value only one and two so these two will come in the first group these two come in the second group but here we have another system where we are going to group by the roles so if you want to group by the roles what you need to do you need to perform these things in an array and the inside the array you just need to give a function here which will accept the item and for every item i am just going to say group by roles so yes first time it will go and group by skill and second time it will go and group by roles in that particular group so here if you go you can see we have these things only grouped by the skills but this time it will go again in the callback and then group by the roles so if i refresh here yes we have one for the skill but we also have role one which include these two and role two which include only this so in that way we have all these things role three actually it is so in that case we have all these things and obviously if you need to give preserve key as false then you can see here we we can give simply so preserve key as true we have given and refresh and yes we have that but it's not going to reflect here maybe if i'm not going to give what will be the result yeah it has it has 10 here so if we say true refresh 10 is here 20 is here and 10 20 is that but if i'm not giving any preserve value so like that 10 and 20 are not there so this is very 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 useful group by on the collection you have so if you have liked this episode, please go and share these videos with your friends. If you have not subscribed, go and subscribe to this channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get instant notification because here level knowledge never ends and we will meet in the next episode till then. Goodbye.